10 o'clock tonight, Delta 8 hemp products across the state of Texas have been deemed illegal. KETK's Raina Revel was in Athens today and explains what local smoke shop owners are doing about this very recent ban. Since the Delta 8 ban was announced a couple of weeks ago, many East Texan businesses are working to get rid of these products. Destiny Kennedy, manager of Scorpion Smoke Shop in Athens, says they've been scrambling to figure out alternatives for their business. But other than that, no one has told us how to properly get rid of the Delta 8. No one has an answer. I've called, I've asked numerous people, how do we properly dispose of this? What do we do? And now all five of our stores are just overloaded with back stock. Kennedy shares that both her and her employees have had to place everything on huge discounted prices. Emptied out three display cases. We cleared off our counters. That was just packed full pre-rolls, the flour, gummies, vapes, cartridges, you name it, we had it. Many small smoke shop businesses say 70 to 80% of their income was coming from Delta 8 products. Now they are struggling to find new products to stock their empty shelves. So, so I've, been I've been looking on the internet, internet for, for items, items that Raw makes, makes, such as dog, dog collars, Christmas, Christmas stockings, stockings, Christmas lights, lights that still, still are like smoke, smoke shop, shop cute, cute. Um, um, with, with cannabis, cannabis plants, plants um, Monopoly, Monopoly game, game boards. boards. She's worried about customers who relied on Delta 8 to alleviate anxiety, pain, and insomnia. Now, if any East Texan is caught with this form of cannabis, it is now deemed a felony. So why would you go to the doctor and bill your insurance and pay a copay for the medical grade when you could just go to your smoke shop, gas station, wherever, and just get a Delta 8 for $34.99? Raina Revel, KTK News. Smoke shop owners say they are working diligently to ensure that they get rid of the Delta 8 products as they await clarification from the state about what is allowed as far as cannabis is concerned.